everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited because I'm going for win number three in the state of Alaska, and overall win number 737. I am two hours north of Anchorage, Alaska. I am in Talkeetna, Alaska. I am at West Rib Pub and Grill. It gets the name because the West Rib, I guess, path is the most commonly used path up to Mount Denali for climbing. We are definitely not doing that. But I'm gonna be taking on here their Seward's Folly Burger Challenge. And that gets its name from US Secretary of State William Seward, who purchased Alaska from the Russian Empire back in the 1800s. I think it was 1867. But I've got one hour to finish everything here, and I'm very, very excited about this challenge because while it doesn't seem unique right here, it's an actual, it's a caribou burger challenge. So it'll be my first time having caribou as part of a challenge. But we've got two one pound burger patties or caribou burger patties. Then along with that, there is about one pound of ham. Then there's like a half a pound of bacon. Now, along with all that meat, we've got six ounces of, I think, Swiss cheese, and then six ounces of American cheese. Along with all that, we've got the sourdough bun, and then we've got a whole bunch of healthy vegetables. I know I see onions, tomatoes, and we've got lettuce. And then layered in between is their fat sauce, which is a concoction made mostly with mayonnaise and sour cream. Along with this whole burger, I've got to finish a pound and a half of their battered fries. They look amazing as well. Whether I win or not, it's $56, but if I win, I will get a sweet t-shirt to add to my collection, and I will get my photo up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, I turned my hat so Atlas can take this challenge. It's normally not free if you win, but it is going to be for me, thanks to all of you guys watching our videos. Now, I've got one hour to finish. This challenge has about a 10% success rate, so they've had many attempts in the over 10 years it's been going. This restaurant was featured on Man Vs. Food many years ago. It's been like a decade now, but whew, the record is around 32 minutes. We're gonna try to smash that. One, two, three, boom. All right, get the flag out, and then we will get these out, and then we will start eating. of ham is gone. Now let's bite into this one pound caribou pet. Whew, gonna be yummy. You can definitely tell it's leaner than beef. It is chewy, but it is really, really flavorful. That first patty was great. These buns are by far gonna be the hardest with all this sauce on it. So we're gonna have this one now with some of the soda to help get it down. Get the rest of this ham, cheese, and bacon. We are 12 and a half minutes in, done with a lot of the burger. We just have the bottom bun with some of the vegetables and sauce, and then we got this one pound patty of caribou. Gonna have this, then move on to the rest. Last bit of the caribou. Nineteen minutes, twenty seconds in, just got a new soda with a little bit of ice to help get down this bottom bun. Ah. 
Ah, last bit of burger. Would definitely, if I was going for speed, I would go for beef because it's a little bit fattier. But as far as flavor goes, that caribou was really, really good. Definitely enjoyed both of those, the flavor of those patties. That fat sauce, they put so much on there that I didn't know how it was going to be. But actually, I really did enjoy it with that sourdough bun. But overall, with the ham, the bacon, all those cheeses, just a delicious burger. And then the battered fries were great too. But the new record is 26 minutes and 42 seconds. It was right around 32 minutes. So big thank you to West Rib Pub and Grill up here in Talkeetna of Alaska for their Seward's Folly Challenge. Now, whether you win or not, it's typically for you guys if you're interested in this challenge, it is gonna be $56. But you can get your name and photo up on the Wall of Fame. And most importantly, you can get this shirt saying that you conquered Seward's Folly. I get this shirt because I conquered Seward's Folly, but it was overall win number 737. And then I'll be going for three more in Alaska around the city of Anchorage these next few days. But to celebrate win number three in Alaska, this is a Nine Lives IPA, which is made by a local brewery specifically for West Rip Pub and Grill. So gonna down this and then we'll have a great night. So thank you guys for watching. Ah.